We all know the song. As the lead single off of Stevie Wonder's Talking Book album, Superstition hit number one in January of 1973. And we've been singing it ever since. But did you know that that song might not have happened without the help of guitarist Jeff Beck? Check this out. Stevie Wonder was working on the Talking Book album in 1972 when co-producers Malcolm Cecil and Bob Margaleff suggested they bring in Jeff Beck to play guitar on the song Looking for Another Pure Love. Do it, Jeff. While on a break in the studio, Jeff Beck went over to the drum set, sat down, and started playing. One day I was sitting at the drum kit, which I love to play when nobody's around, doing this beat. Stevie came kind of boogieing into the studio. Don't stop. Ah, come on, Stevie, I can't play the drums. Then the lick came out, Superstition. That was my song, in return for Talking Book. I thought, he's given me the riff of the century. In exchange for playing on Talking Book, Stevie gave the song to Jeff Beck for his upcoming album, Beck, Bogart, and a Piece. This is actually the first recorded version of this song. Now, eventually Stevie recorded the song, but he pleaded with Motown Records to make You Are the Sunshine of My Life the lead single off the album. You are the sunshine of my life. Eventually, the BBA album was delayed in its release, and when Barry Gordy heard that song, man, he knew he had a hit on his hands. Stevie's version beat Jeff Beck's by only a few months, but it became the iconic hit version that we all know today. But Jeff Beck's version is amazing, and what we end up with are two similar but different takes on one great song, right down to the bass. Beck's version is in the much more guitar-friendly key of E minor, but it's also slower than Stevie's. The biggest tonal difference between the two is that clavinet. The clavinet is carrying that melody we associate with the song, while the keyboard bass is mostly just pumping out quarter notes. Jeff Beck's version, in a guitar trio, uses the bass to carry that melodic line. It's re-orchestrated. And the bass has a different role, a more active one. Jeff Beck and Stevie Wonder's association would continue into 1975, when Beck recorded two of Stevie Wonder's songs on his seminal Blow by Blow album. The pair would reunite over the years to perform, including an iconic reunion at the 25th anniversary of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2009. The Beck, Bogart, and a Peace version of Superstition is generally regarded as one of the great recordings of Jeff Beck's career. He only left us a couple of weeks ago, but to quote Stevie Wonder, as long as you talk about people, you keep them alive. You keep their spirits alive. So let's talk about them. 
Let's listen to them. Let's get those records and keep playing them. And rest in peace, Jeff Beck.